Oh. Now it's official, guys. I mean, we have Aaron yeah. Brooks in the life. What I want to know is how come you don't have a giant cardboard cut out of your own head behind you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just now seen that. How where come? You, where did you get that? Dude, we were, uh, we played, we played at, uh, Montage the first time, and, uh, somebody, a bunch of my friends made it, and they were standing out in the crowd holding it, and it ended up with me, so, yeah. Like, back in 2015? Yeah. How yeah. did I miss that? I, I don't know. It's something. Wow. Like, look at it. Oh, it's the cutout from the band picture. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, they just took the they just took the one picture and uh, and just cut my head out of it and made a giant cardboard thing of it. Oh, this is fantastic! Yeah. Like it's like blending in with the like the comments are covering it, but now I see it. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'll 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 aim the yes. camera down. Oh, so this is it. fantastic! Yeah, it's good stuff. It's good times. That's mm -hmm. amazing. So, how was Portugal? Well, it was Portugal. I had three missed flights going there, two delayed flights. I got stuck in Lisbon for eight hours. So I was supposed to go from here to Newark. That got canceled, so they sent me to fucking Toronto. Oh, good. Because that's, like, that's close. Yeah, so I got stuck in Toronto, and then I missed my connection to fucking Ponta de Gala, and then I fucking went to Lisbon and sat there. <laughs> It was a nightmare. How many, how many times did you have to go through customs trying to get home? Oh my god. Let's see. Uh, three? Nice. Nice. Yeah, three freaking times. Unbelievable. There are a lot of people asking about the new Breaking Benjamin album. Um, yeah. So, my... Yeah. Um, so my stock answer is that uh, we're always writing music and it is possible that every song that's going to be on the next album. So there's your answer. So there you go. Yeah. There's either songs that there's not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We either have them all written or we have none written or we have some. <laughs> It'll happen. It's going to happen eventually. Yeah. I, so promise, I promise you there will be another album at yeah. some point. Yes. Mizzer, what's up, dude? Yes. Mal Levy, hey. We just saw hey, Mal. We just saw you. Yeah, almost a lawyer answer. Yep. You know yeah. what? That way, I can't have somebody come up to me like, you said, and you lied to me. Like, yeah, we can't have that. Can't <laughs> that. You've got two songs, somebody said. Yeah. yeah. So, so are you ready? Are you ready for a tour, Mr. Man? Yeah, are you? Am I? Um, Maybe. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. I'll be ready uh, two days after I leave home. I'll be ready. I want to say. Got it. Okay. So, you know, about uh, August 10th, first show? Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. That's why we're doing this, so I can actually fucking practice. I like it, I like it a lot. Yeah. I like it a lot. You need to hire yourself a cowboy to put that together. I know, I need to just maybe fly him in and be like, hey, figure this shit out. I mean, I got like, to bring, bring me up. <laughs> like, what are the screws for? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, bring T me up. Hey, T me, yeah, he's tape a drumstick to it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, Aaron and I are in the same time zone. Yeah. Somebody was asking, like, I'm in Ohio, he's in Pennsylvania. Yep. Metallica. Does, I wish. Metallica, I mean, we're not, uh, you know. <gasps> There's Terry. There he is. Terry, somebody was asking how many root beers you get with the, with the parlor uh, VIP. Yeah. I don't know if we ever discussed that. Who has the fast car in Breaking Benjamin? Actually, Aaron does. No, right now, me. Is I'm, pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure I can take it. Yeah, you can take the Tesla, right? Yeah. I think my Maki will take the Tesla. I used to have a lot of fast cars, and then I grew up and got rid of them. Yeah. Did Terry yeah. answer the parlor root beer question? I don't know. The chat's moving by pretty quick there. 
is uh, one delicious parlor per ticket. There it is. Okay, so you get one. Guys, please understand that there are... Those are there like 35, 36, something like that. Yeah. And we have to have... We have to bring all the root beer for the entire tour with us from day one. Yeah. Fun. Thank you. You're awesome, too. Yeah, you're awesome. Whoever said that, you're yeah. awesome. Uh, they're probably talking about you. No, it's, it said you guys. What's the best parlor flavor and why is it birch beer? No argument. No argument. I can't argue with that either. I did like the butterscotch, but the birch grew on me. That is a lot of that is a lot of root beer. It's a semi truck full of root beer, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be fun. Yeah, it's right. gonna be good. Well, Sean, I just needed to come in and interrupt your live because you were talking and I uh, I was <laughs> like I just got tired of typing. I, kept, I was like I kept I'm sitting there like I need to I'm trying to talk about stuff. Yeah, but. Favorite BB song before I joined, before and after you both joined? Uh, that's a good question. My favorite um, song before I joined was Phase. What about yours, Sean? Before I joined, Topless was actually my favorite. That's a good one. Before I joined, After was Close to Heaven. It's still one of my favorites. But no, I like Anthem of the Angels too. Close to Heaven's a good one. God, there's so many good ones. Close to Heaven's a good one. We don't play that either. We don't play we don't. any of those. We don't. I don't think we ever played Close to Heaven. We um, we rehearsed it a lot, and that, we never played it. It's a bitch to play for those that want to know. Thanks for getting the tattoo. Oh my god, yes. Tattooed your foot. Ow. Deep cuts for the Alice in Chains tour. I hope so. Yeah, that'd be cool. So. Yeah, I'm sure we'll do something. Do we have a set list? Let me tell you something about the set list. There's oh, either yeah. set, there's not. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll tell you exactly how the set list works. We're gonna <laughs> uh, we're gonna go and we're gonna rehearse. But we're gonna play a bunch of songs, and then we have a limited amount of time, right? And we have to play all the songs that you guys want to hear like the singles and stuff we have to play all those so we don't get like yelled at yeah and we have a limited amount of time to fit this the other cool stuff in there so we try to do our best to get as much of it in as we can because we like those songs and then set list gets written like two hours before show yeah uh-huh yep possibly and, and then it constantly yeah, play Psycho, Sean. Nope. Mm -mm. I'm good. The song's awful to play. Are we going to do the skits like we used to do back in the day? We're, uh, we're afraid that the internet can't take that anymore. Yeah, there's something called cancel culture, and I really don't want to be yeah. talking about something on accident. Yeah. We don't want to get a... <laughs> Most of the videos are me drinking or talking while playing. You're like a big boy. Who's playing last on tour with Alice in Chains? Alice in Chains is playing last. Yeah, I mean, if they played before us, everybody would leave. <laughs> That's one of those things, like, when we... Oh, Nicole! Nicole! Mommy Nicole, hello. Aw, uh, hi, girl. Yeah, we're, um... Yeah, that's one of those bands that I I wouldn't feel comfortable playing after them. No way. You know, it's kind of like Corn. You know, it's, it's you know, if anything, a respect thing. Like, no, we're not going on after you guys. No way. Absolutely. Monty Bella said, "I'm leaving after you guys play." Oh, you're gonna be missing Allison Chain. That's Gabrielle. Cousin, so she's just being nice. It's Harley's girlfriend's cousin. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, miss you guys, pilot neighbor. Oh, yeah. Wait, just you know, bring that. Oh, teeny. Up. Teeny. Yeah. Come pick, pick us up. Yeah, pick us up. 
in the airplanes. <laughs> I needed a flight for Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sit in my ass in fucking Canada. Sucked. That's funny. That is funny. Breaking Benjamin Lamb of God. I, you know, I'm trying, I'm still trying to talk the, uh, the I Prevail guys into like, please, I Prevail, come on tour with us. Am I gonna dye my hair for the tour? I don't Probably. Want to fucking yellow. I'm totally dyeing my hair for the tour. Yeah, Aaron's already worked on it. Oh, 100%. He did the nude color. It looks good. Mm-hmm. Oh, hello, I'm back, she says. Hi. What song has never been played would you add to the set list? Uh, I don't know. I think it would be cool and fun. Last night I was talking about this on my stream. Uh, I think it would be cool and fun to start the show just like Ember starts with the piano part from Feed the Wolf right into Feed the Wolf. I'm down. I think that'd be cool. That'd be fun. I'm at my house. I only live in one place, dork. I'm up with all these fucking questions. No, we've been playing Firefly. Yeah. Yeah, we play, we've been playing that for a while now. When are we coming back to Knoxville? I don't know. Keith's in Knoxville. He's playing. I think he's playing there like in two days. Yeah. Or is he? I, I think so. On the 27th. I think Keith's playing there. Yeah. If you guys, uh, so you guys, if you want to see us play near you, find out who your local promoter is and be like, hey, we want to see Breaking Benjamin. Yeah, I'll do that. Sean should set up a Discord for drum lessons. I, I really need to do that. But that's another reason. Getting. Never again. Please add never again back. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I'd be happy if we never played that song, Never Again. <laughs> Who's, did someone say add never again? Who said yeah. that? Yeah. Uh, let's scroll back. Chance to actually it's been twice. Uh, LD Hanko 98, and then somebody else said, Are you adding it? It's been asked twice. No, no, I'm good with never playing it, never again. When, when, will, you, when will you go to Europe? Um, just I there. <laughs> some point? I mean, I'm down. Yeah, I'm, I'm good to go. So fuck it, let's do it. Tourniquet and Forever would be a dream come true. We've played both of those. Keith Sing Forever. Sean, you know Ray loves you guys. BB and Corn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've done the, the Corn thing a couple of times. It's very fun. We love all those guys. If you didn't play any of Ember in South Carolina, that can't be true. Wait, no, I beat. Because we didn't play Red Cold River that night. I remember that. Really? Wow. I don't know. Maybe we didn't. Holy shit. That was the night I played with Cedar. That's crazy. Which is probably why we cut that song, because I was fucking tired. It's a good thing that we have to pay attention. Yeah, we have to pay attention to make sure we're playing stuff off of all the albums. Yeah. Sean, come to Portugal with me so I can be a tour guide. Well, I was just there yesterday. And now I'm not. <laughs> I am a Star Wars fan. Sean is not. That is correct. I actually have never seen Star Wars. Fun fact. Is that Percy? Do you hear his ass upstairs? Oh, my I God. I hear Percy yapping his fucking mouth. Ugh. There he is. He must get fed. All right. My dog is getting fed, so I'm going to jump off because he's having a heart attack. All right. So thank you so much, guys. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you. Uh, we'll talk to you later, Sean. I'll see you next week, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Three. Uh, oh, three. yeah.
All right, talk to you later. Bye. See you, bud. Well, that was fun. So who do we have left here? Who's watching? Someone said, Sean, the best drummer in the world. No. Hardly. Not even close. Oh, I'm sad Aaron's leaving. Who else am I going to bring in here on the live chat? Who wants to come in and talk to me? Anybody? The most underrated BB song. I think Hopeless is pretty underrated. Well, I mean, it's not really underrated. It seems to be that a lot of people like it, but it's totally underrated, and so is uh, Phase, in my opinion. Oh, Aaron's still here. Cool. He didn't leave. He just didn't want to talk anymore. <laughs> Jacob, you got people yelling for you, bro. Are you still here? Oh, yeah, I am totally procrastinating. See, I, I, I don't know how to set it up. I, I need to read the manual. Uh, are you right? Are you left or right-handed? I'm actually a little bit both, but primarily right-handed. I drum right-handed, but I sometimes eat left-handed. It's kind of weird. Aaron's left-handed and plays bass right-handed. Uh, Skyline of Star Wars, you're fired. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, play some beats now. Okay, here you go. You ready? That's what you're getting. <laughs> um, I use Vader sticks. And is my Betancourt buddy in here? Is Maria still in here? I want to know if Maria and Jacob are still in here. Aaron looks like David Draymond. You look like David Draymond, bro. That's what somebody said. Yeah, when I when I get it put together, I'll go live and play something. Maybe. It won't be tonight though. Uh where are you playing next? In Pennsylvania. On my birthday. That's the first show on the tour. So I want all of you to come to that show because it's my birthday. It'll be my last year in my 30s. Fuck, I'm getting old. I joined this band, well, unofficially joined the band when I was freaking 29. Now I'm going to be 39. Fuck this. Imagine if we tour with them and people thought, <laughs> yeah, if people thought you were David Draymond, that'd be funny. I think it happened. That happened. Um, we fly to rehearsals and we take the bus and we, uh, travel on tour on bus you guys know my singer doesn't fly like ben ben doesn't fly i am old this sucks oh yeah aaron you're driving because you're in pennsylvania that's right I wish I had more room to take this thing in for a practice kit. Maybe, well, nah, not doing it. Where is the rehearsal studio? It's at a rehearsal studio in a non-disclosed place. Um, let's see here. Whoa, hair just went everywhere. I look awesome. Thank you. I'm not really uh, feeling it. I just got back from the gym a little while ago. 
Ben's feeling great. <clears throat> We're all feeling good. We're good. <laughs> you said you're only 21. Well, enjoy. Enjoy it. How long are you going to grow your hair? I don't know. Here's the thing. I'm, I'm doing this for one reason. Is This might be the last time I will ever be able to do it. I'm getting older. I'm almost in my 40s. So while I still can, and I still got a full entire head of crazy hair, I'm going to grow this shit. Enjoy it. People say you look tired. I, yeah, I know. Whatever. Again, this is how I look. If I look tired, then that's, that's what you get. Yeah, Sean, what's the hair plan? I don't know. I might grow it to my ass, cut it off, and tape it to the back of the tour bus. <laughs> That's an inside joke. Uh, and only and only Aaron's going to understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm dying laughing because every time I think about that whole scenario, I just fucking lose my mind. Thanks, Akuna. Even though I know that's not your real fucking name. <laughs> uh, Bruna. How's... I imagine you met Keith. How's Kith doing? <laughs> Keith's great. He's on tour right now. He's got a solo tour. He's uh, playing some shows. So if he comes around, you should uh, you should go see him. Your three favorite China symbols, and why is Cowboy such an amazing person? Well, Cowboy's an amazing person, plus he's from Texas. And he um, was brought up right. He's just a good freaking Southern boy. That's the way I look at it. Um, even though, well, I guess you can really classify Texas as Southern, but he's got old Southern. Anyways, uh, three favorite China symbols are the... Uh, Holy China, the Paragon China, and the Diamondback China. Have I dyed my hair before? You must be new here. <laughs> oh, yeah. My hair's been all of the colors. This is fun. I'm glad I got on here tonight for a little bit. I do have to get off soon and I guess that sounded bad. I have to get off of here soon and tackle putting this together. So maybe like three more minutes I'll hang out with you guys and then I'm gonna fuck off and set this up. I know, I I, I have to go. I have to set this up. I have to get this thing going and figure it out. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm making it worse. Aaron told me I'm making it worse. But, uh, oh, you're welcome. Thanks for getting on here and, and uh, joining me on this thing. You know, like, I used to get on here every little while and talk to you guys, and I stopped doing it. But uh, Jason's hair is pink. I can't do pink. To be honest, like if I do anything, it's just, just going to be the way that it is or dark. The only reason that this is blonde, this is funny because people are asking what if I just put blonde in my hair because, and I actually did not. So um, those who know that aren't new here, I had shorter hair and the top of it was like kind of like a mohawk and it was blue. Well, when I dyed that shit blue, getting it out, yeah, that was fun. So it turned green, and because you know when it faded, and then when I tried to dye over it to go back dark, it just it wouldn't take. So I had two options: shave my head. Not kidding, shave my head or grow my hair. So I grew my hair and just bleached what was blue and green, and that's what this is. So if you look, the top's growing out, and that's what used to be the mohawk. So I didn't go blonde just to go blonde. I actually think the blonde's kind of just 
not really manly. Even though I, I, I did it in my emo days when I had the bangs and the little Aranos. Anyways, uh, I, I did not want to be blonde at all. So now I can actually just go dark, which I'm, I'm probably just going to do that now. But I, I got it done, and then I immediately went to tour. So I didn't have time. But that's why this is blonde. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. A few more of these comments and questions. I'm digging a lot of holes, I know, but whatever. I mean, you're uh, you're gonna let me have it at some point, anyways. You know, like Aaron. Aaron's like my big brother that picks on me because he loves me. He knows my emo days. He knows what I. He said I have some questionable hair. Uh, but oh no, Aaron's not jealous. Aaron had hair to his ass. That is also the, the comment about cutting it off and putting it on the back of the tour bus. Did I finish the Mustang? Actually, um, my good dear friend, Jason Carruthers, who I uh, do business with at the car place, his brother actually is in the band Star Set. He has it and he's getting it painted. Or he's painting it. Or he's having somebody paint it. Or, Jason, are you in here still? What are you fucking doing with my car? <laughs> I dropped it off to him, and he's he, he has it. So I don't. It might even be painted. I don't even know. So maybe he, if he's still here, he can answer that question. I doubt that he's still in here. He probably was like, I can't deal with this. Do I have tattoos? I do. Man, there's one. Do I still talk to Barry? Yes, I, I'm in a band with Barry. We're very, very good friends. I just talked to him today. Uh, let's see. A couple more guys, and then I'm gonna get out. You breaking Ben music? Yeah, we we talked about that earlier. Like it's like Aaron said. There's either a whole record written or there's not. You know, that's how we work. But at some point, you you will get something. So, yeah, we're very good friends. That's a good one. I like that. Um, yeah, Joe, let's catch up, buddy. I miss you, bud. I'd like to see you. Come up and uh, yeah, come up to the show and see me on my birthday. That'd be real cool. Uh, who did my tattoo? Funny story about, about this. Uh, I was drunk. I was in Portland, Oregon with my old drum tech, Nick Teamy. Some of you guys know Nick in here. And there was a questionable spot, like tattoo place, that uh, was like a, it was like you walked into a basement. <laughs> and they were letting me drink Sailor Jerry and smoke pot <laughs> while getting tattooed. And. Yeah, I got it from a drunk stripper. That's funny, Aaron. But yeah, she did actually did a really good fucking job on this thing. But it was uh, an interesting, uh, an interesting experience because I'm like, this is really questionable. But team was like, fuck it, let's go. I'm getting a tattoo, and so we just I said, you know what, fuck it. It was my first one. I'm like, you know what, if I'm gonna get my first tattoo, I'm just gonna do it, and it's gonna be really questionable, and my mom's gonna probably kill me. Which she didn't. She didn't kill me. Uh, no, I I don't smoke weed anymore. Um, I I occasionally will eat an edible, but uh, I don't like I don't like the way I used to smoke um, cigarettes too. But no smoking. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, we does help us sleep. Oh, real quick, uh, a guy named Nelson said holla, hello, and that reminded me of earlier. So, 
real quick, guys, like since I have 112 of you on here, and I know this is probably common sense, but I, I really don't like to have to like posted my stories about you know the imposters and like hey please this is not me but you just would not believe the number of people that that write me and go is this you is this you on TikTok? is this you here you know and these people trying to communicate with you guys tell you that you are me or that tell you that i'm me basically whatever you know what i'm saying it's not me okay this is my only instagram i, I don't have a private account for my fantastic fan club or you know like a any of that shit you know so if you get hit up uh and anybody writes saying they're me just do not respond okay because if you respond uh, you know maybe they can send you a link and you'll click it and they'll take your credit card information somehow i don't know what they're doing but it's not me and just don't um fill my inbox asking me you know like just use Use this, and if it's not this account with a blue check mark, I'm not talking to you. So um, I'm sorry for those who um, thought that they were. You know, there was a there was a sweet girl in my inbox the other day, and I felt so bad for her. And she's like, you know, I've been in a relationship with you for like two months. I'm like, you you have not, honey. You were in a relationship from a guy in another country pretending to be me. Um, and I felt so bad for her, you know, she was the sweetest damn girl. But, uh, yeah, guys, just, you know, use your smarts, you know. Uh, it's not cool. And th those people just need to straight up fuck off. Um, and get a life, you know. I, I don't understand why anybody would ever want to be me in the beginning with. I'm, I'm not anything fucking special here. I'm just a dude from Ohio that's in a damn band, and, uh, you know, I'm lucky to have a cool job, but anything beyond that or it's weird to me. I don't understand it. So, yeah, guys, if you're getting messages from somewhere else, it's not me. <sighs> Anyways, am I single? I'm not getting into relationship stuff. I keep all that stuff with what I do private. My personal life's private. Even if I get in a relationship or if I'm in a relationship they will never be posted on my Instagram there will never be a picture of my significant other on my Instagram I've been down that road before and um, you know I'm just I'm not doing it you know that's where I stand with it so I'm not going to change my mind either so it's unfortunate that you have to do that kind of thing but you know uh, people are weird and uh, yeah anyways uh, I love all of you guys. Thank you for coming on here and hanging out with me for the last, I don't know, maybe hour or so. It was really, really cool. It was good to catch up with everybody and catch up with some good friends. Thanks, Aaron, for jumping on here and hanging out, dude. But I love you, dude. And uh, I'll see you in like a week. And uh, you guys take care. And I'm going to set this up. All right. So uh, love you guys. We'll see you out there soon, all right? Thanks for uh, supporting Breaking Benjamin and uh, being the greatest fans in the world because, you know what, without you guys, we wouldn't be here. Kara, I love you, honey. Good night. Give the kids a squeeze for me, even Percy. Give them a hug. And uh, yeah, send all of my love to everybody. I, I miss you guys. And hopefully I get to see you, Kara, uh, maybe in Pennsylvania. Uh, it would be really cool. It would be good to see you. So, all right, guys. Take care. Good night.